namely that antidepressants often do not do what they promise and are in fact causing harm to many. Uh, Dr. Steve Hoetze is suing over Obamacare's employer mandate. It's time for a wellness revolution. a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hoetze Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. At now, Dr. Stephen Hoetze. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today at Dr. Hoetze's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotze, who's the founder of the Hotze Health and Wellness Center. And if you have any questions for Dr. Hotze today, then please give us a call at 713-212-5950. We are live. That's 713-212-5950. Dr. Hotze, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Stacy, and good afternoon to each one of you. Thanks for joining us today on Wellness Revolution. Thanks for being part of the Wellness Revolution. I hope you are part of the Wellness Revolution. And what do you have to do to be part of the well- Wellness Revolution? Well, it's fairly simple. You've got to do a 180. And take charge of your health. And take charge of your health. So if you're just tooling down the old health highway, down on the wrong side of the street, just enjoying the weather, enjoying the day, beautiful day, all of a sudden, but you're on the wrong side of the street, you may have a problem. You're liable to get in a wreck, get crippled, get killed. We don't want that to happen to you. The only way you can prevent that is to do a 180 and go down the right side of the health freeway so you obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally and enjoy a better quality of life. Because if you're alive, you might as well be alive. Listen, I've got some interesting uh, interesting insights on a very popular vitamin. You know, You know what the most popular vitamin in the country is? Stacy, that's a great question. Well, you know, you're putting me on the spot. I mean, I know what you're going to talk about. We can name A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, Elemental, R, P. Which is it? All right. I'm going to say C. Vitamin C. It is. It is the most widely used vitamin uh, supplement in the country. And it's used by individuals without doctor's prescription. You don't have to have a prescription to have a vitamin. A vitamin is considered under current law. A food supplement. Now, vitamins are substances that your body doesn't make, but they are required for the biochemical processes in the body so that your, so all these biochemical processes can operate and function. They operate and function based upon certain vitamins, which catalyze enzymes and help transport electrons uh, inside the power plants of the cell, which is called the mitochondria. So you got to have vitamins for life. If, for instance, if if you were placed in a location and were not given any vitamin C at all, you had you didn't get it in your food, and you weren't taking any supplements, and they were feeding you basically bread and water, let's say, you might be lucky if you lasted six months. Within a year, for sure, you'd be dead. You die of scurvy. So, if by removing vitamin C from somebody's diet will kill them, it's got to be pretty important. Didn't they discover that when you had the people, so way back when people would travel in these wooden sh- little right. wooden ships from you know Europe over to, right. to our country, and they'd go for months, they didn't realize right. the connection, and then you'd have all these people dying of scurvy. scurvy that's right. And scurvy is a vitamin D, I'm sorry, vitamin C, caused by a vitamin C deficiency. And vitamin C is essential for the production of the protein called collagen. Collagen is the protein glue that holds all your cells together. you got trillions of cells. And you have to have collagen. It's what's between the cells that glues them together. And it's a protein. To make that protein, you have to have vitamin C. And the only mammals in God's creation that don't make their own vitamin C are human beings, monkeys, guinea pigs, and bats, of all things. If you study this, I don't know, but somebody studied all this, and that's what they found out. The average mammal makes 1,000 milligrams per 25 pounds of body weight. So if an if a... If a dog weighs 150 pounds, they're making about 6,000 milligrams or more of vitamin C every day. 
And interestingly enough, hearts don't, uh, dogs don't get coronary artery disease. They don't get heart disease. Neither do cows, neither do horses, neither do cats. They don't get heart disease. But human beings do because we don't make vitamin C. And vitamin C is important for collagen. So the only vitamin C that we can have for our bodies is what we take by mouth. It's the only way you can get in your body. Of course, you can do an IV and get a vitamin IV, but just routinely for the average person, the way you get your vitamin C is through food. And, you know, the citrus products have that. Well, they discovered about vitamin C, as Stacy was mentioning, this goes back to the time when, when boats were made of wood and had sails. And they would sail across the ocean or for long trips around the world, even like Magellan did. And what they found is after six or eight months, many of the sailors' skin would become like tissue, and they would begin to bruise all over their skin, and their skin became black, and their gums would swell, and their teeth would rot out, and they would become crazy in their thinking. And then they would die, and they bleed from internally, and they'd find out they just bled out because they're arteries would break down and deteriorate and disintegrate. And that's what caused all the bleeding and the thin skin. You know, if you take the, if you take the skin on top of your hand and you lift it up and you drop it, it falls back into place. But somebody that has scurvy, if you pulled up on that, the skin would just tear off because oh, it's, it's like tissue paper. That's wet. That's what it's like. And, So that's caused by a lack of vitamin C. And here's what happened is all these, and there were literally, they estimate two or three million sailors between the years 1500 and 1800 uh, died of scurvy. In Magellan, when he sailed around the world, 80% of his crew died of scurvy. They didn't know what caused it. Thought it was a humor in the air. Back then, they didn't know about bacteria. They didn't know about anything else, a Little, nor did they know about collagen and vitamin C and all that. They just knew these sailors died. And then there was a, there was a uh, doctor in Scotland by the name of Linz, and I don't know how he decided to try as a treatment the use of citric juices in and these sailors that had scurvy, they came back, they were still alive, and he began to give them citrus, oranges, limes, lemons, and they recovered. And this was like 1775, 1785. And he was able to then communicate this to the British Admiralty. And by 1800, all the vessels on the British ships had lime juice or orange juice or lemon juice that was given to the sailors. And guess what? It eradicated vitamin C. I'm sorry, it eradicated scurvy, which was caused by a vitamin C deficiency. A simple natural solution. That's amazing. A natural. Hey, they didn't take a drug. They They just took a vitamin. They supplemented. Fancy that. And it saved people's lives. And we're going to talk more about vitamin C and how it can save your life in just a minute. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Hotsey, and thank you for joining us here at Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. If you want to do a 180 and take charge of your health, then give us a call at 281-698-8698. It's 281-698-8698. You're listening to Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. Please stay tuned. Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution, your daily dose of radio reality. If you are sick and tired of being sick and tired and want to do a 180 and take charge of your health, then give us a call at 281-698-8698. We'll be more than happy to give you a complimentary consultation and a complimentary copy of Dr. Hoetze's best-selling book, Hormones, Health, and Happiness. It's 281-698-8698. Here's Dr. Hoetze. Thank you so very much, Stacy. You're welcome. And thank each one of you for joining us here on Dr. Hotsey, that's me, Wellness <laughs> Revolution. And we're talking about vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is another more technical name for it. Of course, the population and the public knows it as vitamin C. Now, we talked about 
vitamin C is essential for your life, for health. If we were to take you off any, if we were to take you off any food that contained vitamin C, if we were to prevent you from having any intake of vitamin C, you could only last six months to a year and you would die. So vitamin C must be pretty important if removing it from your diet would kill you, right? So it's got to have an important function. And vitamin C does have numerous very important functions. Well, you mentioned collagen, and I have to confess that when I first heard about that as being one of the benefits of vitamin C, that caught my interest as a woman always wanting to look better. I mean, just from a aesthetic point of view, I thought that was very interesting. Exactly. And there's some products, as you ladies are probably aware, that both say have vitamin C. They're really popular right now. Yeah, that have vitamin C in them. And that helps that helps stimulate collagen production in the skin. And the collagen, as we age, what happens is we make less and less collagen. And this can be just from dietary reasons too. In America, we just don't have enough vitamin C, so we don't make much amount we don't make much collagen. And and so what happens when you don't make collagen, it's then your face begins to sag, you get wrinkles and those sort of things. So there are some products on the market for skin care on the face that contain vitamin C that help with wrinkles and skin tone and those sort of things. And vitamin C, some people take vitamin C orally on a daily basis, which I do, and I highly recommend that anybody's listening to the program, be sure to take vitamin C, and I'll talk about what I recommend later in the program. But vitamin C is the is the uh, vitamin that enables your body to produce the protein collagen, which is the glue that holds your cells together. You want your cells to hold together or you fall apart. And that's what happens with individuals that have poor dietary habits. And you've seen some folks, older folks, particularly when they go into the hospital. That's where patients oftentimes become malnourished in the hospital. From the hospital food, they're sick, they're not able to eat. They don't give them any vitamin C in the IV. They never think about it. And so over a period of several months, if somebody's in the hospital for an extended period of time, they can have low vitamin C levels. They don't make much collagen. Their skin becomes terribly bruised wherever they try to start an IV. You know, if you or I get an IV, uh, Stacy, you don't see the mark the next day where we have it. But these patients in the hospital get stuck, and because they have low levels of vitamin C, they they exsanguinate under their skin and get bruises all over their body and all over their arms, wherever they've been punched or poked, and they're just bruised all over. Well, that's a sign of low-grade scurvy. And the solution to that is vitamin C. Another thing vitamin C is very important in is macrophage. What's macrophage? Macrophage are a type of white blood cell that help engulf bacteria. And they stimulate the macrophage in the immune system to help destroy bacteria and viruses. That's why people oftentimes say, yeah, whenever I get sick, I double up on my vitamin C. And And we tell our guests to do that. You're sick? Double up on your vitamin C. Take it to stool intolerance or longer. And vitamin C, by the way, can loosen your stools. There's no question about that. Uh, which for some people, they need to have loose stools. They need to be no not so full of themselves. <laughs> they need to, they need to have. They, they need a lot. They need good bowel function. And well, that, that's uh, important too. Right, so, and it's important to note too. It doesn't build up in your system, so you're not going. Vitamin to- C is natural. It's safe. You cannot. Hurt yourself with vitamin C. Right, you're not going to take too much. There's not a list of side effects of taking vitamin C, like it doesn't cause cancer. The you know, you you read down, you you hear the drugs on TV. Remember the drugs that they're offering you from the drug companies never existed before in nature. They have no biochemical, natural biochemical function in your body. They're toxins. They're poisons. They poison your system. So that's why drugs are are always accompanied by a host of side effects adverse consequences that occur from taking a drug that may, maybe it stops your head from making, but it gives you cancer of the liver or destroys your immune system or 
you know, causes you to go blind, but you don't have a headache. You know, what about the what about the uh, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like the ibuprofens and box and these sort of drugs that you take for your joint pain? Well, they cause inflammation in the coronary arteries and lead to coronary artery disease and heart attacks. But you didn't have joint pain, right? So all these drugs that we take have invariably side effects, some of which are serious, deleterious, and some are fatal. These drugs can cause fatalities. They all have a LD50, lethal dose at which you take, which at any at that dose, 50% of the people that take the dose would die. That's called the LD50 or the lethal dose at which 50% of the people taking that drug would die. But vitamins don't have that. You can take vitamin C or minerals don't have that, magnesium, and your body uses what it needs and gets rid of the rest. But the body needs those for normal biochemical functions. Now, vitamin C is important for collagen production in your coronary arteries. Your coronary arteries are the arteries that supply the heart with blood. You've got three or four. You've got the main anterior artery, the left uh, left anterior descending artery, you've got the right artery, coronary artery, and you've got the circumflex artery. You've got four or so major arteries in your heart that feed the muscle all the blood so they ha- have all the nutrients and the oxygen so the heart can generate energy and pump the blood, you know, 72 times a minute, 100,000 times an hour. Well, People get coronary artery disease. That's the heart arteries. They get disease in their coronary arteries. They get inflammation. Inflammation is what causes coronary artery disease. And if a person does not have a good high vitamin C intake, they cannot make enough collagen to repair the damaged coronary arteries. Now, what damages or causes inflammation in the coronary arteries? Well, Petrochemicals. You think we're exposed to petrochemicals? We got pesticides we spray in our house. We got all kinds of, of food that is full of, of uh, biochemical uh, and petrochemical products. We've got lotions that we slather on our body. We got products that we drink in the water that we drink. They're petrochemicals in the water we drink. It's in the air we breathe. While the petrochemical industry has been a boon and brought great benefits in so many ways. Petrochemicals are not natural to the human body. In fact, they're toxic, and they cause a toxic buildup, and those toxins have an adverse effect on the arteries of our body, particularly the coronary arteries. And the reason they have a more significant effect on the coronary arteries is because the coronary arteries are under a tremendous amount of pressure. They, they, are, they, are, they are right on top of the heart muscle, and if you, if you look at the back of your hand and let your hand hang down, you can see the veins on your hand. Imagine your veins is a coronary artery. Now just squeeze your hand. Squeeze it. And you see how that vein collapses and stretches. Well, that's what happens to the coronary arteries. Every time the heart beats, the artery collapses and stretches. And if the artery is inflamed, it begins to disintegrate and deteriorate. Well, the body doesn't want that to happen. And it normally would make collagen. But if you have a low diet, a low amount of vitamin C, you're not, you need a lot of vitamin C to keep your coronary arteries healthy because they're under so much stress. They need a lot more collagen than the rest of your body does because of the stress that you have. And so you've got to be able to make, in that area of your body, a lot of collagen. And if you don't have enough vitamin C to make adequate amounts of collagen, your artery becomes inflamed and deteriorates. And so the body doesn't like that. So what it does is it takes the backup mechanism, and the backup mechanism for an inflamed coronary artery is cholesterol. Well, I thought that was bad for me. You know, cholesterol is healthy for you. It's a Band-Aid that your body uses as a backup mechanism to begin to patch the inflamed artery so you don't have that inflammation. And then the body begins to incorporate calcium from the blood into that plaque of of, uh, cholesterol, and it causes the artery to become hardened. 
So you have hardening of the arteries, but now they're not inflamed and breaking down. They're hardened, which is good initially, but then as that calcium builds up, they begin to narrow and it adversely affects blood flow. So when I come back, I'm going to tell you what you can do to improve your coronary arteries and help them heal so you don't develop atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries. That's right. We are on a mission to help you achieve health and wellness naturally. If you want more information about doing a 180 and finally taking charge of your health, then give us a call at 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. You're listening to Dr. Hochi's Wellness Revolution. Please stay tuned. Why walk amongst the living sick when you can join a wellness revolution? Here's Dr. Hotze. Welcome back to Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution. This is Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotze. And if you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, then know there is a natural way to address your health issues. You can give one of our consultants a call at 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. Here's Dr. Hotze. Thank you so very much, Stacy, and thank each one of you for joining us today on Wellness Revolution. Join the Wellness Revolution yourself. Don't just join the program. Join the revolution. Get on a get on a pathway to health and wellness. Do a 180. Take charge of your health. What we want to do is throw you a lifeline. If you feel like you're going down the wrong way or you're sinking out of the middle of a of a uh, of, uh, in the ocean, we're coming by with a boat and we're throwing you a lifeline. So we want to save you. We want, we want you to get healthy and well so you feel better. If you feel better, your energy level is going to be up. You're going to enjoy a lot more. You're going to be more productive. You're going to have greater relationships with your family and friends. It's important to be healthy. And that's what we specialize here at the Hotel Health and Wellness Center is helping you get on a path of health and wellness naturally without pharmaceutical drugs. We don't believe that there's better life through drugs. We know that drugs cause a host of health problems. As a matter of fact, most people die from the drugs they take, not from anything else. There have been studies that have been done and which show that the, the either the first or third leading cause of death in individuals are drugs, pharmaceutically made, doctor-prescribed, FDA-approved drugs given in proper doses that end up killing patients. It's crazy. Why would we take something that has an LD50, a lethal dose where 50% of the people would die? When you can take natural substances, you can eat right, you can restore your hormones, you can detoxify yourself with the vitamins and minerals, you can exercise, you can treat your allergies with sublingual drops, you can get yourself on a path of health and wellness naturally. Why not do that and that will dramatically improve your health. One, because it dramatically increases your energy level. And vitamin C is important for that. We talked about vitamin C. I've talked about how vitamin C deficiency leads to scurvy. And let me just tell you what, hospitalized in hospitalized patients, people that are in the hospital extended periods of time are in nursing homes and have poor diet, they will get scurvy. I have two friends in the hospital, one in their late 70s, one in their 90s. And I've watched what has happened to these people over the several months they've been in the hospital. And I've noticed their skin deteriorating. I noticed that they were getting bruising easily. Their arms are all bruised. Their legs are bruised. Even on their faces, they have bruises. And it's, a, it's not the kind of bruise that you normally see, a, a purple bruise. like you Not know, from a fall, yeah, necessarily. Yeah, where you get a bruise. I mean, it's, it's all red, and it looks like their skin is just bleeding out, it, it, and, their t- and their skin is like tissue paper. Those are the classical features of scurvy. And vitamin C is important, is very important for, for fighting off infections. So people that have low levels of vitamin C tend to become infected. And when do people get low levels of vitamin C? When they're in the hospital. They you know, it's them. a shame, Dr. Hudsey, because you had explained how, how it was discovered right. that there was scurvy. They figured it out. Right. And yet somehow this didn't get translated into, into hospitals and nursing homes when this should be something that's, oh, I don't know, on a very short checklist of things that you need to make sure that people have. Vitamin C should be part of that and yet it's not. it's not so this is good information for everyone listening because most people do know of 
someone who's elderly, right, who's in the hospital that could benefit from some vitamin, vitamin C therapy. C. If they're not in the hospital, make sure they're taking vitamin C. And I recommend, I take and recommend a thousand milligrams per twenty-five pounds of body weight. If you weigh one hundred and fifty pounds, you take six thousand milligrams. If you're two hundred pounds, you take eight thousand milligrams. Take it in divided doses. Take if you're going to take. 6,000 milligrams, take 3,000 in the morning, 3,000 in the evening. This will help clean your coronary arteries and cut down on it. will help them heal so it gets rid of the inflammation. To get rid of inflammation in your arteries, you want to clean up your eating program so you're not putting a bunch of uh, processed foods with petrochemical products in it. You don't want to use all these skin, skin lotions that have petrochemical products in it. You want to make sure you're drinking clean water, not in a plastic bottle. If you're in a plastic bottle, you're getting petrochemicals, plasticizers, BCPs, biphenols, a host of dangerous petrochemical products that leach out of the carton into the water. Plastic bottle, plastic water is bad for you. Get yourself reverse osmosis at the house, and, and that way you can clean and and uh, filter your water so you don't contain any petrochemicals or fluoride. Now, patients, these two patients I know that are elderly in the hospital, my gosh, I look at them and they were both very, both of them just terribly low in vitamin C. And one of the, one of the, uh, one, and they're not my patients. I don't do a hospitalized practice, but I'm friends with, with, with family members. So I, I, I looked at this one one elderly woman patient, and, and I told her husband, I said, she's just low in vitamin C. I think she's got scurvy. She's been in the hospital three months. She's got to have scurvy. She needs vitamin C. And I recommended, I said, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a protocol for you to show to the physicians and see if they'll give her vitamin C. And I went up there and visited, and I visited with some of the doctors, and asking them to give vitamin C, they looked at me like, What? We just don't do that. I mean, that's not in our formula. They got drugs. They give you all these drugs. And by the way, both these patients they got in the hospital, they loaded them up. They loaded them up on drugs. And they got sicker quicker. They just were going downhill. So finally, this, and, and by the way, when you get low in vitamin C, you're much more prone to get infections. And if you're in a hospital, you're a culture media for all the nosocomial bacteria uh, uh, antibiotic-resistant bacteria that are in the hospital, and they'll glom on to you. They're going to get in your body. That's what happens to people that go to the hospital and they get hospital-based organisms get infections. And they're low in vitamin C and their immune system is down and they're on all these drugs. They get sick, they get pneumonia, they get sepsis, and they die. That's what happens. You've been there. You've had family members that has happened to you. Come back and I'm going to tell you a remarkable story of a recent study that was done on patients that were septic. That means they had bacteria growing in their blood and they were on death's door and find out what saved their lives. That's right. And if you would like to find out more information on how to become healthy and well naturally, then give one of our wellness consultants a call at 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. You're listening to Dr. Hoti's Wellness Revolution. Please stay tuned. Now back to the Wellness Revolution. Here's your host, Dr. Stephen Hotze. Thank you for tuning in to Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotze. And if you would like to do a 180 and get your life back and take charge of your health, then you can give us a call at 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. Also be more than happy to give you a copy of Dr. Hotze's best-selling book, Hormones, health, and happiness. Here's Dr. Hoetze. Thanks so much, Stacy. I was talking about vitamin C, and I was talking about how many patients in nursing homes and in hospitals are vitamin C deficient. And you know what? They never check for vitamin C levels at the hospital. And these poor patients, they can't eat. Maybe they're in the ICU. Maybe they're on a respirator, and they're getting some kind of IV fluid, some form of protein in their IVs. But I looked at... And the amount of vitamin C they're getting is almost, I mean, it's effectively inconsequential. This one, uh, one, of the, one of the patients I saw was getting 100 milligrams a day. Now, I take 10,000 milligrams a day or more now, but I have for 25 years. And 100 milligrams well, a day. Well, our capsules are 1,000 right. each. They start at 1,000. And you're just saying 100? That's right. nothing. So this one patient became septic. 
septic means you have bacteria growing in your blood. That's life-threatening. Very few people live through that. If you don't get on antibiotics, you're going to die. Antibiotics can help you, but they tear down your immune system and cause problems. You've got to have a healthy immune system to be able to fight off the bacteria. You can't. All the antibiotics in the world, if your immune system isn't healthy, you'll never clear the infection. This poor individual had four different bacteria growing in her blood, and, and her husband was told this is the end of the line. It's not going to, you know, she'll not make it. Well, I had talked to him <clears throat> that week earlier. I said, she needs vitamin C. we got to get her vitamin C. So we talked to the physicians, and they kind of looked at us like we were cross-eyed, but the gentleman went and talked to several doctors. He talked to the pharmacist. Let's get her on vitamin C. Let's get her on vitamin C. Dr. Hosey recommends vitamin C. We need to get her on vitamin C. So they finally, uh, finally would, you know, she's, she's on. He said, how's it going to hurt her? You've given her a day to live. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? And they were all nervous, but they finally gave her vitamin C. And she was in, she was, she was at the end of the rope. I mean, they gave her 24 hours. So they put her on vitamin C. And yet they were nervous about putting her on, put vitamin, her on vitamin C. That's like an act of Congress. That's <laughs> unbelievable. So they do. They put her on vitamin C. <clears throat> Three days later, she's awake. They culture her blood, and there's no bacteria in her blood. And they don't know what's going on. And, and they go, well, it's going to come back. Now, that's been about 10 or 12 days, and it hadn't. She's sitting up. She's alert. She's walking. That's terrific. And so this individual gave me a call last Friday, and he was all excited. He said, I just heard something on TV. There was a new study that was done where patients with sepsis, they gave them vitamin C, and they got well, <laughs> and they gave them vitamin C and cortisol, which is natural, your natural steroid hormone, which we use here at the Hotel Health and Wellness Center, and vitamin B1. And they gave this to them IV, and they got well. And you were right, vitamin C does. Well, of course, vitamin C is important for your immune system to be able to fight off infections. So I pulled this study, and it's a study that that was just uh, published December 16th, 2016. <clears throat> and it was published in the journal Chest. And it's, and it's written by Dr. Paul Merrick, and it's entitled Hydrocortisone, which is cortisol, vitamin C, and thiamine in the treatment of severe sepsis and septic shock. So this Dr. Merrick, whom I've looked up, has written 400 peer-reviewed medical articles for journals. He is a specialist in uh, uh, intensive care. He's the chief of pulmonary and critical care medicine at East Virginia Medical School. His name is Dr. Paul Merrick. And they did a study, and what he, what he did, he had patients coming into, coming into their intensive care unit in sepsis. And he had done, and, the, <clears throat> and about 40% of them would die, no matter what they did. And he had seen some recent studies about vitamin C and cortisol. So he said, we were recently confronted with three patients who had fulminant sepsis. I mean, it's just overwhelming, who were almost certainly destined to die from overwhelming septic shock. Based on experimental and emerging data, we decided to administer intravenous vitamin C. And they gave 6,000 milligrams in divided doses over the day to these patients as a life-saving measure. They also gave moderate doses of cortisol, and they also gave some thiamine. All three of these patients made a dramatic cover recovery and were discharged from the ICU within days with no residual organ dysfunction. Based upon this experience and the reported safety and potential benefit of this therapeutic intervention, the combination of intravenous vitamin C and cortisol became routinely administered as adjunctive therapy for the treatment of sepsis and septic shock in our ICU. They went on to do a study of their next 47 patients that came into the ICU in, in septic shock, and they treated them with vitamin C, natural cortisol, and, and, and vitamin B1, thiamine. They gave that as an IV. Only 8% of the patients died. They went back and looked at the previous 47 patients who had come in before this 47 that they treated with vitamin C, and they found the death rate in those patients was 40%. So they dropped their death rate from 40% in septic shock to 8%. It's very That's significant. Dramatic. Wow. That's dramatic. That's, dr that's dramatic. 
And that's all from using vitamin C. And so, of course, this article is being shown to the physicians at the hospital where my uh, my friend is, had been in the hospital, and she's doing so well right now. It's really remarkable. Their conclusion of their study that they did, and it's published in the in the uh, December 16th of chest uh, the Chest Journal, Pulmonary uh, Magazine. Our results suggest that early use of intravenous vitamin C together with corticosteroids, and that would be natural cortisol and thiamine, B1, may prove to be effective in preventing progressive organ dysfunction, including acute kid- kidney in- in- injury and reducing the mortality of patients with severe sepsis and septic shock. So here's a case where vitamin C was used by a pulmonologist who is in critical care medicine in ICU in uh, East Virginia Medical School in the hospital, and the patients had dramatic recoveries. This is without all these antibiotics and without all the drugs. This is how they treated them, and this is how they got well. That ought to tell you, vitamin C is very important to your health. I recommend to our guests at the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center, they take at least 1,000 milligrams per uh, 25 pounds of body weight. You weigh 100 pounds, take 4,000 milligrams. 155, 150 pounds, 6,000 milligrams. And if you weigh 200 pounds, take 8,000 milligrams. Take it in divided doses. Split it up twice a day. And take a, uh, a good absorbable form, an ester form that's slow released. Or you can take liposomal vitamin C. We carry it here at Hotsey it, it hosts the vitamins. So be sure to call and get on vitamin C. It's safe. It's effective. It's inexpensive. And it can help you maintain your immune system, keep it healthy, and keep your arteries healthy and keep you from getting coronary artery disease. Well, what we provide here at HOTC Vitamins is a very high-quality vitamin C. So you would just go to HOTCVitamins.com. That's HOTCVitamins.com. And you can certainly talk to one of our consultants they're very knowledgeable they're all certified nutritionists and they can give you all the information that you need about vitamin c but dr hotsey thank you for talking to us about that it kind of validates what we already knew right it sure does uh so it's so great to have that study out there so great to have you listening to us today we hope you learned something new about your health and again if you want more information you can call us at 281-698-8698 that's 281-698-8698 thank you so much for listening to dr hotsey's wellness revolution Have a blessed day, everyone. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.